Hey everybody, my name is Gadam. Welcome back for another video of NHL Franchise Mode. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Having a lot of fun playing this game, obviously for you. Uh, we've already uh, done all the lines for the second year. We're ready to move it up, boys. So we got a brand new team uh, all together. It was hard, really hard during the free agency to find some people in order uh, and not pay them too much. Like actually have some uh managed to get some money right not spend all of our money so we've got 42 contracts are kind of spending a lot of money like three million everywhere spare stuff eight million for wheeler like and the goaltenders are costing us a lot as well but let's hope that it works out in the end for us boys let's hope that it does uh like again like i said again if you guys had any proposition for me maybe a trade i can do eventually you guys can let me know, uh, and uh, we'll see what I can. I'll see what I can do about that. Uh, I don't necessarily know if I am gonna need all these uh, different types of players is during the end, like uh, the trade deadline and stuff like that. We'll uh, we'll see uh, where we're at, and if we're doing good enough, I'll uh, keep all the players I've got. Maybe upgrade even further. Uh, but if we're not doing good enough, I will blow up my team, obviously get rid of all these veterans and whatnot. Now, there is uh, going to be a lot of people asking me for to do trades, which I don't want to do any of those. So they got to leave me alone with that. And I have to get rid of all of those. So they stop, they really stop, uh, asking me for, uh, to make trades. This is annoying as fuck. They keep asking to make trades, boys. I don't want to make any trades. Stop it. Damn. Really annoying, boys, when they ask you to do all the trades. So, let me just uh, get past real quick. We're going straight to the regular season. I don't care about the preseason at all. Uh, we're just going to go straight in. We're going to start simulating. We're starting against the ass, uh, the ass hat bo these ass hat boys. So, last year we finished up first in the division. Now, this thing might change because everybody uh, got a chance this year around during the off season, they got a chance to upgrade their team. So I'm not too sure uh, what any team looks like now. So it's going to definitely be interesting to see um, how do we, uh, how we're going to be doing. So let's just go ahead and simulate, boys. First game, we win against the Asset. Good. The first game, we win. Uh, right away against uh, the Capitals. We're going to win a game. Good. We win against the Capital as well. Uh, Johansson's really doing great for us. Look at that. So it's doing fantastic for us. We got another win, three wins in a row right here, four wins in a row. So already you can see uh, we're up to a great start, boys. Uh, we're starting off with four wins in a row. That's really a great start against the Carolina uh, Carolina Hurricanes as well. We end up winning. Uh, the there we go. There's our first loss in the season. It's that's uh, uh, it's the uh, sixth game. Uh, can we win this time around against the Blackhawks though? We sure can. So we did win against the Blackhawks. So, I mean, we are doing really good. We're really starting well. Uh, there's a loss against the Hurricanes. Can we win against the Oilers? We sure can. A shootout win. That's really good. Really good. So only two regulation losses so far to start it off. One more game to simulate for the 10 games, boys. Up against Colorado. And we end up losing, but in shootout. So that's a loss in shootout. That's okay, boys. We got a point out of that. So, really great start for us. 7-2-1 and one for the uh, first 10 games, boys. Uh, which puts us as the best team in the uh, in the eastern side, I guess. No, uh, not. Actually not. Of course not. Because the Golden Knights and the Wild are doing better than us, even the Ducks. But we are the fourth best team overall in the Eastern Conference. Ain't that something, boys? That's really cool. That's really good, but we are obviously the best team by far of our of our division. And right off the bat, I mean, Marcus Johansson, 11 points and 10 games played. He's doing fantastic, boys. He's on the second line, so that second line's really uh, working well. Yeah, that second line's really working well. Uh, we've got the first line, which could be doing a bit better, but they're doing all right. I mean, six points still for Milano. Uh, four points for Stashny and six points for Wheeler. Wheeler could be doing a little bit better, but they're doing decent enough. Uh, fourth line is doing fantastic. Uh, Joe Thornton is just a beast, boys. 
He's just a beast in of itself. Uh, last year got 81 points. He's already 7 points in 10 games played. He's a beast. He really is. He's a fantastic player for us. He truly is, boys. And uh, yeah, we just got to keep at it, I guess. He's, he's just that good of a player. That's just how it is, I guess. We're going to keep the same lines, though. Uh, Timishov, Dvorsky is actually a plus. So that's really good for him. We want him to grow, so we want him to have a good time, you know. We want him to actually be able to really perform well. He's a playmaker, so yeah, we want him to perform well. Uh, what about the uh, power play? Is, is Do we have him uh, in there, Dvorsky in there? It doesn't seem like it's the case. Dvorsky's not in there. Uh, we've got ourselves... We've got two defensemen. I kind of want, instead of Timishov, instead of a grinder like Janot, I, sh I think we should put in, we should put in Dvorsky. Uh, make him play in there. There we go. Like, put Dvorsky in there so he can play, have some lineups in there, here and there, you know? That would be the way to go. So, let's continue to simulate, boys. We're doing pretty well so far. There's a regulation loss to start it off for a nothing. So, uh, a, sh a shout out for, uh, for the Jets, that's okay though, because we're facing off against the Assets, which are really struggling this year. There's a win against them, good, really good. The Senators are actually really doing well this year, and they're gonna lose. Uh, they're gonna win against us as well. So that's uh, two losses here. We're up against the Saint Jose Sharks. That's another regulation loss. We're gonna start losing against these NHL caliber teams now. That's unfortunate. Up against the stud ass team, of course. Oh, it's a shootout loss though. So it's acceptable. Definitely acceptable right here, but we gotta do better. Uh, no, I don't wanna make any trades. Stop uh, asking me for that. And we do have our first injury this year, and Paul Stashny, our first centerman overall, gets injured, and Thomas Tatar is gonna get in there, replace him. We got uh, Johansson in here. Uh, Tatar is actually better than Thornton overall, I feel like. So, uh, we're gonna keep Tatar in here. He's actually an 84. He's actually better than... Yeah, we're gonna keep him at, uh, in the fourth, uh, first line, boys. We'll keep him in the first line. Uh, power play. We're just gonna keep it like that. They're gonna replace him automatically. That's a shootout win against Buffalo, which is great. Really great. Can we get a win? No, it's a loss against New York. Now we're starting to lose. This is a bad record we're having right here. There's a win against these guys, at least. Yes, yeah, so, okay. We, we're we winning against the... Yeah, we're winning against the garbage teams. Against the teams that are struggling. But the minor teams. But we're not winning against the NHL caliber teams anymore. Which is... Uh, unless it's the Arizona Coyotes, of course. So, last record was 5-4-1. and one, uh, a, lot, a lot worse than the previous record, for sure. But it's still... Um, it's still above 500 record, so it's good enough, all right? Well, it's actually a 500 record. It's good enough for us. It's good enough for us to stay uh, by far in the first place in our division, uh, which is not hard to do, boys. Uh, 35 points for the All-Stars. They're starting to actually pop off now. And, uh, yeah, all the others pretty much going to be the same overall, boys. Still 22 points for Johansson. Uh, we we need to check really quick. It's 20 games played. We're gonna check uh, really quick. How many? Um, where are we at in our division in terms of points? So we're scoring the most amount of goals. Uh, we are goals against per game. We are the best defensive team as well. Power play leads to be desired. We have an absolute garbage power play, so we need to change that up. Penalty kill is awful so we got an awful penalty kill and an awful power play so basically we gotta switch off our that's the i can't switch off my strategies though that's the problem the stream strategies i can't switch them off so i can't can't do anything about that like the power play for sure well distributors i can actually okay so i can I can distribute the, uh, the stuff. So, yes, I do want Thornton, Wheeler, Tatar, uh, and Milano. I feel like the right people are in there. It's just the way they are doing it. So, aggressive, defensive. Let's still do it normal. 1-3-1 uh, one, one is fine. But the puck carrier. So, who uh, gets the puck? 
the finisher should be Blake Wheeler. Blake Wheeler should be the f uh, finisher. The distributor should be uh, Thornton, boys. The puck carrier should be Milano. Milano is the puck carrier, all right? Uh, for a, a second line, second line, Dvorsky is a dis distributor for sure. He's a playmaker. Uh, well, yeah, he's the distributor. The finisher, Johansson. Yes, definitely Johansson and Timishov, puck carrier, all right? That's how we got to do it, boys. Power play line. Now, four man four power play. Distributor, Joe Thornton. Puck carrier, it's got to be Milano as well. Good. Same thing, boys. We're going the, the same route right here. Thomas Chatar is in here. So, Johansson. I, Johansson needs to be the one that scores the goal. So, Tatar, you're going to pass the puck around. And I guess out of the way, you're going to be the um, you're going to be the puck carrier. So there we go, just like that. I mean, we're finishing it off like that. Uh, we can't change up the penalty kill though. And I don't know. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense though. I don't want Tatar in there. Tatar should not be uh, in the penalty kill. That's for sure. I mean, Thornton's good enough. Uh, if we take a look at the others. Yeah, I don't really have that much of a... Well, Wheeler is a really good defensive player. There we go. So we're going to put Wheeler in there because a really good penalty killer. So he's definitely going to be in here. Uh, we're going to put him in the wing position. And Jeannot is... Is he any good? He's decent in defense, I guess. So we can keep him, but... I don't know how I feel about him. Is there anybody that else that would be good? No, we can keep him in there. We can keep him in there. Penalty kill wise, Thornton is in here. All right, so I feel like there's not a lot we can really do about the penalty kill. I did what I could right here. Let's continue to simulate. Let's see if it's gonna change anything, boys. There's a win against uh, Calgary to start it off, so that's really good. Uh, all we needed to do really is change the power play a bit and change the penalty kill. Let's see if it changes anything for us, makes us win a game. Somehow we lost against these guys seven to nothing. It's followed by a 5-2 loss against Dallas Stars. That's not good. Uh, Paul Stashny is finally back. Uh, that's about damn time. What did Tatao? Tatao did pretty well for us. Five points overall. He did pretty well. He did pretty well for us. But Paul Stashny is finally back in the lineup. Uh, he uh, finally is going to be able to do something for us. So there's a shootout loss against Boston. There we go, boys. There's a win against Boston, though. So we get three points out of four against Boston, which is really great. Uh, a loss against uh, the Seattle Krakens, though, unfortunately. The Red Bulls, that's going to be a loss as well. Yeah, so we're losing quite a bit. We are really losing quite a bit, boys. So that's really unfortunate. Losing against the Nashville Predators as well. At least we got a win right here. We got a win against the Red Bulls. Can we get another win at, at least, please? There we go, another win against the Red Bulls, which puts us as a record of 4-5-1 four, four, after ten last 10 games. We're slowing down, though, boys. Slowing down. We're doing even worse and worse. Not good at all. That's not what I wanted. And remember, we got eliminated in the first round the first time around. I feel like uh, we're not having good records right here. We're really not having good records. We're still the best goal-scoring goal team, the best defensive team. Our power play, where is it at? I don't know if it's actually going up or not. I really don't know. I feel like it is. Yeah, I don't know if our penalty kill is going any uh, is going up either. I really don't know about the situation, boys. Let's keep simulating until 40 games played. I have the season done. There is a W against these guys. Good. Uh, Vegas Golden Knights. There's an overtime win. Good. That's a good wins right here. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, we're going to lose against them, unfortunately. We got to keep the momentum going, though, boys. We got to keep uh, keep it going, keep uh, winning games right here. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. I got to keep uh, winning. So we got uh, t three wins out of four games right here. Let's keep it winning, boys. There we go. Columbus Blue Jackets, we win against them. A loss against Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay but that's to be expected. The Florida Panthers, we lose against them. That's not good. So Rada is being a pain in the ass for us now, boys. There's a win against these guys. Can we win against St. Louis? That's going to be a loss. 
One more game, boys, and we're going to be at 40 games played. Let's see uh, Philadelphia Flyers. And Andrew Kasha got injured. So Stashny was back, but now it's Kasha being injured. So uh, Tatov's getting uh, another opportunity again in the lineup. And he's going to stay there, obviously. And we're going to switch it up. Switch it up right here. Oh, we actually got to uh, put him in. Which is fine by me. We do have uh, to put him in. He's uh, good enough to be in there. So Tatal, go, uh, get in there, buddy. Get in the lineup. And uh, also, uh, get in the first man lineup. Well, actually, well... I don't know where there was four... I, I don't like it when they do that. When they put five uh, players in there. Uh, we need... Ryan Murray. Ryan Murray should be in there. There we go. Alright, so that's done. That's done right here. That's good. That was a loss against Philadelphia Flyers right there. So a 4 nothing loss as well. We are definitely slowing down. Uh, we did a little bit better. 5-5. Five and five, But we're basically 50-50 every, five, every single time, boys. I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever. 45 points. We're slowing down. We, we started off really great. And all of a sudden, we're doing not so great, boys. We're not really doing that great. Uh... Or have the season done. I don't like to see that. Most of our players are doing good though. Uh, Jano is doing good. Thornton's not doing great though. Now he's really struggling somehow. Uh, Stashny's doing all right, I guess. We do we gotta do better. Uh, Dvorsky is doing really bad in the fourth line now. It's hard. It's really hard, boys. It's, it's hard to figure out like what do we have to do to make this team better. Uh, we are doing okay for the 5-on-5. Five five. It's just the rest, right? We're going up in the power play. Power play and penalty kill is going up. Both of these things are actually going up. So uh, I feel like we're, we're upgrading ourselves. We're doing better over time. But it's just wor it's, it's rough, boys. Now we keep losing, though. That's a four-game losing streak right there. And Kasha is finally back. Thank you for that. You need to be back, uh, bring back big time, my guy. There we go. Get back in here, my guy. Holy. That's rough, boys. Shootout loss. Damn. I do not like my coach, boys. We keep losing here. Uh, we get points out of those losses. We get some points, but... Yeah, this is not good at all, boys. We gotta keep... We gotta start getting some wins here and there. And that, oh, the New Jersey Devils are gonna win against us. There's an overtime loss against these guys. We can't be losing against uh, like minor teams like that, boys. There we go. There's a 4 nothing loss. Uh, a 4 nothing win. Another W. There we go. We got to win against these teams. These easy teams. The easy so-called teams, right? We got to win against them at least. Otherwise, it's just going to be plain bad. We can't like... We can't just keep losing like this. There's a... Uh, the last game we're going to simulate here for the 50 games. There we go. There's a win. So a record of 4-4-2. Four, four, and two, So it's a really bad record now. Now we lost a lot more. I mean, don't get me wrong. Rolanson's doing great. But the rest of the team, not so much, boys. Uh, we are struggling. We are struggling big time. We got to do better. Oh, we got a above average record. But uh, that's only because of our good start. This is not good at whatsoever. We are really not doing good. Not doing good whatsoever. I don't like this. I don't like the situation we're in. And uh, the thing is, right now, we uh, how many? What do, how do we look for the draft lottery? We have the first round pick. We don't have a second, nor a third, nor a sixth round pick. It's gonna be a tough, a tough one, boys. We don't have any draft picks. Uh, we should probably get starting on collecting them, maybe. Get rid of some players. Uh, the thing is, I really need to get rid of those players because I, I, I really don't, I don't like the way it's going right now. I don't like the way it's going at all. We need to be better than this. Uh, we got another ten games to play. I don't know if it's because of the goalies or it's just because I'm going, like I'm doing playing bad. My my team is better. Somehow I feel like I I don't know. Holby is just playing better than... Holby is better than Reimer, boys. I don't... Holby is just a better goalie. 
than Reimer. Reimer is not really a great goaltender. He's, he's pretty bad. He's pretty bad overall. I feel like I kind of want to start uh, putting the better and high guy in here. So I put Johansson in here, for example. Stashny in there. Like put uh, Thornton back in the first line, you know. Johansson's doing really great for us, though. He's having a really good season. He's just... I don't know, boys. He's just uh, having a tough time, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you. And what about Milano? Uh, Milano is doing great. 85 over here of Anai. Yeah. So we're good on that part. Yeah, we're really good on that part. 85 as well. So they're all basically staying the same. 87. Timishov is actually really good. Milano is not doing too great. Let's switch it off. Let's switch it off, boys. We're putting, uh, we're, we're putting um, Timishov in here. Timishov with Thornton. Um, and what about Andrew Ghetto? 82. And Adeway and Andrew Ghetto is 83. Andrew Ghetto, you moved up. You're being moved up. There we go. All right, that's what I want to see. I mean, it's not working out. Things are not working out. I got to gotta make it work out, really. All right, so instead of Troy Stetcher, we're putting Butcher in here. Putting Butcher in here, boys. Butcher is going to be on the left. There we go. Easy. It's just as easy as that, boys. All right. Not going to mess around right here. What about Clendening, though? Okay, everything's fine for the rest. That's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to see if that's going to work out for the next 10 games for us. Whatever. We're switching it off, boys. We ended up losing against the TPS. Not good. The Capitals, we got to win against them. How do we lose against the Capitals? Damn, the shoe lost last, boys. That's unfortunate. Um, these guys, we lost against them. They, they are, That's the team that has Conor Bedard in them. We win against Montreal. Oh, boy. We're all over the place, boys. We went against Montreal, but we can't really win against these minor teams. What in the world is going on, boys? Shootout lost against these guys. Oh, these are minor teams. Beat these guys. Finally, there we go. How are we losing all these games, boys? It's frustrating. It really is. Now we're going to start losing, though. Yeah, because, again, because we're facing up against NHL teams. If we're not facing up against NHL teams, we should win those games. How are we losing again? Overtime loss, boys. There's a win right here against the uh, Islanders. And finally, uh, a win against the Seattle Krakens. Damn. Talk about struggling, boys. Last record, 4-3-3. Three, and three. We did manage to get some points out of those, lo lo those losses, though. That's a good... That's, at least that's a good thing, but... We're not getting any wins. We're, we keep losing against teams like these, like the FBK and stuff like that. We keep losing against minor teams, which shouldn't happen. It should not happen whatsoever. We're better than all of these teams, so... Yeah, I, I really don't know. I, I don't know what's going on here. Now, obviously, Wentz is going to start producing a bit less. But I'm hoping for Thornton that... I'm hoping that he's going to start bouncing back with Timishov and stuff like that. I'm hoping that it's going to work out for them, you know? It's going to work out for the better for us. I'm, I'm hoping it works that way. Uh, Dvorsky is starting to actually produce a little bit more. Produce a little bit more rear. Uh, with the help of uh, Bracelor and Hathaway. That's good for him, I guess. That's really good. So, yeah, I don't, I really don't know. My goalies, they're starting to play a little bit better. There we go. It's it's really hard to figure out, like, what's not working for us. Uh, is How's my actual uh, team doing? I guess we can look at that, right? So, for goals four per game, uh, we are still the best goals... Uh, we're still the best goal-scoring team, the best defensive team as well. Uh, power play wise, we are definitely going up. We went from 5% to 10%, boys, so double the amount. And we're going up in the power play, uh, power penalty kill. Both is going up. Both the stats are going up. It's just, it's not showing up in terms of wins. It's not, uh, it's not like really not showing up in terms of wins, which I don't like. Uh, if we look at the AHL really quick, how is my AHL doing? Uh, AHL is doing really great. I mean, if you look at. Uh, Galchenyuk. So we got a really solid AHL team. Solid AHL team, boys. They're really doing great. 
Look at these players. They're really doing great. My AHL team is off the charts, boys. They're really doing fantastic. Uh, yeah, they're dominating. NHL team is dominating, boys. And that's good for Litzen, uh, Litzstein as well. He's growing because of that. And yeah, that's really good. Goalie-wise, Mike Smith is doing great. Uh, Skarek is doing great as well. Yeah, I, my, my AHL team is doing fantastic. I wish my NHL team was doing uh, as good, boys. Look at my team. My team is a stud, boys. It's the uh, uh, a uh, AIK. Uh, K. That's the one right there. So, yeah, they're doing great. They're doing great. So, I don't know. I don't know what's the difference between why they're doing much better than us. I don't know, boys. I really don't know. Uh, it's time to look at trades. It's time to look at trades. Is there anybody that has a good trade value? Maybe we're going to trade away uh, some people, right? Let's look a look at the trade value. So who's got a good trade value we could trade for that's actually playing the NHL right now? Obviously, the Vosky, we're going to keep him. But somebody uh, has a high amount of money, salary. Maybe uh, get rid of some salary at the same time. Get some money out of that. Uh, your instance doing really great for us, so he's got a really good salary. Uh, we could really get something in return for him, for sure. Uh, we could manage to get something in return for him, that's for sure. And uh, what about Stashny? They got some decent value. Stashny and Thornton have some decent value, but they don't cost anything. Two million for me is not really costing anything. It's not the end of the world. I can keep them. Like, I'm not scared of keeping them. They don't cost me anything at all. Is this, uh, it's Johansson. Might cost me a bit right here. At 33 years of age, he's really having a fantastic season. So he's got really good trade value. So we could trade him away for like a center, another center and stuff like that, right? Trade him away for a center. Uh, could be good. Let me see if it's doable. Now, these guys are not being paid that much. Damn, Eisenman's only being paid 1 million? How is that possible? And how is this team able to pay all these guys? One million deal for three years? What a deal, boys. What a deal. That's un that's unbelievable. That's one hell of a deal. Let's see what we can get right here, boys. Now, obviously, they got... Oh, they, got they got a lot of players, but all these, these deals... These deals that are really worth it for me. Would be really worth it for me, boys. Like uh, Mikita, for example, Stan Mikita, Ratel, Oates, any of these guys would be great. If I just put in a little bit more, I could manage to make these guys have one of them. I want to see, though, if, who else is in there that's not paying that much. Not really anybody in left wing position. Right wing, uh, they are paying pretty much everybody big time. Defensive wise, there are some payers. They're not really um, paying that much. And these guys like uh, Housley, McKennis, Housley especially. Yeah, there's there's some players in here. And even like Glenn All, boys. I mean, one million? One million for Glenn All? Three years? But he's he, he has really too high up of a value. He's got too much of a high value. Even Martin Brodeur, boys. He's got too much of a value, though. Too much of a value. So we can go for a center instead. We can go for a center. And definitely try and upgrade our team even further. Let's try and get uh, Stan Mikita in here. No, he's a two-way forward. Uh, two-way forward. Playmaker. There we go. Adam Oates. Let's try and get Adam Oates, boys. Unless uh, Brian Trotzi is a sniper. Let's try and get Brian Trotzi, actually. Bri Brian Trotzi is a sniper for Johansson. Uh, salary cap. All time team would be over the salary cap. So they would have too much money. Uh, that would be too much for them. I could actually retain some of his money. Like retain uh, like five, 5 mil. There we go. That would go through. I retain some of the money, boys. That way it goes through. Uh, now, I've probably got some rookies as well. I can trade away. Uh, I don't want to trade away these guys. That's for sure. I want to keep them. But maybe trade away this custom guy, boys. Trade him away. And at the same time... Uh, get rid of uh, a second round pick. That might go through. A second round pick, Custison. I retain a little bit of salary from Johansson. 
and Trottier gets to go with us for a three-year deal at 1.1 million. 90 overall, boys, elite. Let's see what we got. Oh, just not quite good enough. Just not quite good enough. Well, I can definitely give you a third. There we go. Second and a third, buddy. Okay, that's not good enough. I can go two seconds. I don't, I don't, I don't care about my seconds, uh, second round picks, boys. They don't matter to me too much. All right. Well, two seconds. Let me retain a bit much, a bit more. Let me say like one million. I retain one million. All right. Ooh. All right. It's still not enough. I know I can get him. I know I can get him, boys. I don't want to. I don't want to force it though. I don't want to force it too much. Uh, Ronin. See if they're going to accept for Ronin. Maybe adding Ronin in there. That's not enough. We are going to have to give them a draft pick. We're going to have to give them a draft pick, boys. It's going to have to happen. Another draft pick. Uh, a third. Two thirds. A, ter uh, a third. Two seconds. Costilin. And, and Johansson retaining uh, at basically at 2 million instead of 3 million that it's going to cost them. Come on, that's a good deal. Come on, man. Two. They want 3, two, three seconds? I want, I want Trottier, boys. I'm ki I'm go oh, fuck me. All right. We're not getting him. All right, forget it, boys. I'm done. Uh, I'm done trying to make the trades. I'm fucking done. Uh, I'm done overall with the, the whole salary cap thing. I'm so... I'm so done with this shit. It's annoying. The salary cap option is annoying and you can't make trades because of that. Uh, it's just... There's nothing you can do. You're kind of stuck. Uh, you're stuck big time. So, yeah, I, I'm done with the whole salary cap thing. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end the video right here. Uh, I'm going to end the series. We're going to start a new. Brand new. We're going to just start brand new. Uh, I feel like this is a big mess right here. It's a big, big mess. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Uh, the whole salary cap, the idea, the way it works and stuff, I, I just don't like it. I thought put it at 100 million would be enough. It's not. Uh, P players are costing way too much money uh, trying to figure out, oh, which way you, who you sign, who you not sign. It's too much for me. I like it a lot more arcadey for the franchise mode. So we're going to go back to arcadey style. Um, the thing is going to happen though, uh, is this was kind of a test franchise mode, so a four part f test, I guess. So we're going to start with another team. We're going to do the same idea where we pick up a random team and stuff like that. But, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do much better. We're not going to put salary cap. We're going to put salary cap off and we're going to have a lot more fun. It's going to be a lot more arcadey. A lot more fun for everybody, uh, really. So that's what I'm going to do. So uh, for now, we're going to stop the series right here. Um, good little testing, I guess. Managed to make it pretty far with this uh, this particular uh, series. Um, but right now, I'm going to return only to franchise mode after I'm done with all these other games I'm going to have to play, boys. Because i got so many other games as well. Uh, since I'm done with NHL, I'm going to still be at three games I'm going to have to play, which is Middle Ages 2, uh, obviously still um, uh, Gotham Knight, and the newly added game, which is COD, of course. We got Call of Duty as well, so uh, we got three games coming up. Uh, so as soon as those three games, as soon as we're not at three games anymore, there's probably other games that are going to come up in November as well. As soon as we're done with that, we're going to get a bit, ourselves a bit of breather. Uh, I'll re I'll return with franchise mode properly and actually uh, make sure that we do some really good trades, all that stuff, all that. Make sure that's super arcadey and super much more fun. So remember to do the like and subscribe if you enjoyed this mini series. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.